What's up guys, it's your boy Stefan here, back with the best center in 2K build, and I'm gonna do a little build tutorial for y'all, I know y'all been in the comments asking, oh Stefan, is this build good? I don't know, I don't know much about this game, this, 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 and that, I'm gonna show you how to make the best center in the game. Now just because I'm showing you how to make the build, don't mean that you automatically can, be, you can become the best center, well none of y'all can become the best center, because I'm already the best center in the game, you feel me, you might be able to surpass Ace Loki, who's a Golden Frieza form, maybe definitely Ace Juan Pico, who's a Piccolo, Hit him with the special beam canyon when he dunk on you, you feel me? But, you gotta have Nikola Jokic passing abilities, point guard vision like your boy, you feel me? You already know what it is out here, but you're gonna make him a center, you're gonna make him number, you're gonna make him right-handed, and you're gonna make him number 28, because that's the best number. If you don't make him 28, your build is gonna be messed up. It's gonna get messed up, so make sure you follow me step by step here. Then, what you gonna do here, you're gonna go with the red and blue pie chart. The red and blue pie chart, don't do no other pie chart thinking oh it's gonna be better don't do it it's not gonna work out for you you're gonna be sitting there looking stupid my boy red and blue is for you now when you're sitting here there's a couple different pie charts you can go with you can either go with the vertical and speed pie chart 62 speed 70 vertical or you can go with the 65 speed the vertical and then that's the strength now the reason I personally chose this is because with this one you get if you if you look super super close you get a couple you get three more speed right versus here and you might be saying oh well it's just three speed your vertical is higher and I totally understand that so if you want to go with this one you can I went with this one speed in this game is key especially with the interior defense in this game being a little bit of you know a little bit weaker and not as strong as you know other games uh, which I kind of hate like I said and it, th that's really why I make this specific build and uh, you, you guys will just see a little bit later on but I say go with this pie chart you can go with either or so if you choose the other one okay but I'd say go with the full speed. Um, then when you go to the potential, you want to upgrade your close shot, your driving layup. Um, I did not mean to upgrade any of this yet, my bad. You want to upgrade your driving layup all the way up, driving dunk all the way up, standing dunk, of course, all the way up. And now with the post hook, this is where it gets kind of controversial here. Um, post hook, and if you guys like were watching my other video where they hacked my, you know, my mic and stuff, it can come in handy, but... You're not gonna, like, even say if you were to upgrade all of this, you get eight shooting badges, right? You're really, I mean, with the 51-3, a 59 mid-range, you're gonna have to be, like, dead-ass wide, 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 wide open to even shoot. I, I don't like it, so I say go and do the bare minimum. You can go up to 81. I say make it an 80. You get, you know, it's just one difference. Still get the same badges. Um, me, personally, I go with the free throw all the way up. I mainly play, you know, rec. That's why there. Pass accuracy all the way up. Uh, psych. Actually, no, you don't want to do that because we haven't got to our defense. Uh, you want to do interior defense all the way up. Perimeter defense all the way up. Ladder quickness. Steal. Um, I say go until it won't give you any more badges. So 62 block you want all the way up offensive and defensive rebounding, of course, all the way up. Um, then you got four left. I say go with pass accuracy. Best option for you there. Burley build, of course. Now, this is where people mess up. They'd be like, oh, I'm going to be 7-3. Well, if you're 7-3, look how it just destroys it destroys your speed all right you go from what a 65 speed to and like you lose your vertical like it, it does no good for you same thing with 72 same thing with 71 and then you'd be like oh i want to be 69 well if you're 69 eh, not like the rapper 69 who's the snitch you lose a lot of your offensive and defensive rebounding which is already mediocre at best um in, in my opinion at least so i say make them 610 now, when you're 6'10", you gain 8 and 12 in your driving layup and your driving dunk. You get 2 for your free throw, plus 5 ball handle, and your perimeter defense also goes up, which is huge for this build. Huge for this build. You get a 71 speed and a 71 vertical. Huge Ws. You lose your strength. Who gives a fuck about your strength in this game? Does not do anything. 
Um, your interior defense suffers a little bit, but again, interior defense in this game does not matter. Not matters one bit. No, this is where I used to mess up. This is where I used to mess up at. Look at this right here. I'd be like, dang, I get a 90 interior defense. But, in 2K22, Sally, it does not matter about interior defense. Look at your speed. Look at your vertical. Look at your acceleration. It goes down horrendously. Look what I just did there. This right here will allow you on pick and roll situations to come and hedge better. To be able to come up and help out your your, your point guard on defense. That's what matters. S plus three, plus five on driving, layup, driving, dunk. Minus nine on interior defense does not matter because you get a plus six lateral. Your vertical acceleration speed and perimeter defense go up. Huge W. Make them the lightest weight. Wingspan, no need to do that. You're not really a shooter. Don't know why you would make them seven or would even do that at all uh make a max wingspan helps you out in every category as you can see rim protector take you could choose it if you want i like glass cleaning take it is op as hell you can see where the ball is going you can see which way it's going i love glass cleaning take and as you can see glass cleaning finisher those are the players it's like i'm going to show you the badges real quick here we're going to go to test build you're going to make them a 99 of course cool all right so real quickly before i end this you want to put it on a bullet passer needle threader break starter all good badges bullet passer is the best for here you want to go volume shooter psych actually i would say slippery all ball you could put it on clutch shooter as well just depends on your playing style for this this is just my opinion silver silver um actually well yeah, I say Lob City Finisher, Silver, and then you got two more Silver. That's what I would go with. Right there, going to screenshot that. Defense, I'm going to show you this real quick. You get Hall of Fame defense on this uh, build now. Again, I don't recommend going there. I say doing gold. Uh, my my build only goes with, um. you can only have, um, what you would call it? You can only have gold so i'm just gonna go with what i go with gold i would say probably put this hall of fame if you want to like something like that these two are what i call iffy badges so you really don't need them except on bronze um and yeah that's the build tutorial make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video and what should i do next until next time guys bye